Hi, my name is Instructor Tivon, and I'm here today to show you how to execute this game. First, we're going to show you how to set up the game, then we're going to show you how to properly run the game, and finally, we're going to go over some safety aspects to make sure that this game is the best for your students. Here is how you set up for high jump. You want to make sure that you have the mat in front of the shield so that when the students are jumping, they have something soft to land on. Also have the shield stacked up on top of each other um, for the students to jump over. Also, I have some extra shields on the side for me to use as I continue to stack up on top of the shields to add another level. The objective of high jump is to jump over the shields and land safely on the mat without knocking them over. If you touch it over just a little bit, that's okay. Um, but it, if you do end up moving it and you're out, you're gonna sit on the mirror side or any designated area that you choose. After each child in the line has gone, then you're gonna move up another level and add another shield. As the levels keep going up, then the students will continue to try and jump over the shields. Ready, get set, go! First person in the line, jump over. Nice, there you go, and go around, go around. Ready, next person in line, go! Jump over the shield and go, very nice. Ready, and go around and go! Jump over the shield and freeze for one second. I'm gonna add another shield on. I know, I know. Okay, ready, oh, get set, go! Jump over the shield, very nice. There you go, come back around and nice person line, go! And go! And pause. Oh, yeah. And hang on one second. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Ho, do you guys mind stepping back? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Ready? Add another shield. Level, level four. Ready? Get set. Nick, off the shield, sir. Ready? Get set. Go! Woo, nice jump. Oh, Ethan, so close. Go ahead, put that shield back for me. Here are some safety aspects to play high jump. When you're doing the jump, make sure that you have some, you can use any of the mats or crash mats to use as extra cushion for when the students are jumping and they have something soft and safe to land on. Also, make sure that you have someone in the middle to watch when someone is falling to make sure that they're not falling on their face or they're not hurting any other part of their body. Also, when they're done jumping, make sure that they go on the opposite side of the designated area back to their line so that they're not running into the person that is coming next. These are some final tips on how to run this game. Remember, safety is our number one priority. Also, a great way to get that energy up to, and to get the kids smiling is to use your music and to have the best M4548 that you can. Also, make sure that you're having fun with the kids and play the game with them. If you have any questions, please turn to your operations manager and they can answer any questions that you have. I hope you have a great time running this game.